Oh, hello. Fancy seeing you up here. So I heard that you guys want another secret of keeping your grid on Instagram consistent. Well, don't worry because today I'm going to share that secret with you. Shh, don't let anyone else know about this secret. Promise me. All right, so you joined me in the worst place for photography in the world. I'll tell you why in a bit, but for now, let's just dive straight into the five secrets that I wanna share with you to keep your grid style consistent. All right, so the first one is choose the main colors. Now, these can be the three, four main colors that you wanna portray through your Instagram feed. Basically, choose them and just go with them throughout the next couple of months. For example, on my feed right now, I'm on blue and red, and you can see that theme going on consistently throughout like for the past couple of weeks. Secondly, choose a photograph, go with those colors and create a preset. It's pretty easy on Lightroom, but I don't know what editing software you use, but pretty much what preset does is saves your editing style into one click and by one press of a button, it'll apply those settings for you. Then take that preset that you just created with one photograph, test it on multiple of them, I'd say about 10 to make it somewhat good, if not perfect. And on number three is basically just use that bloody preset. It's, it's simple as that. And obviously over the time, develop that specific preset and basically your aim is to make it perfect. So again, I'll use my example right now. My theme is blue and red. And I'm developing that preset over and over again on every edit, uh, basically adjusting temp temperature, adjusting colors and see what looks the best. So by now, if you apply these three tips, you're good to go. All right, so uh, I'm kind of off from here because this place is looking a bit boring and I'm pretty sure I can get some good shit from this place. I meant good shot, by the way, not shit. <laughs> If you're not from Manchester or even in the UK, can I just flex on you how I like live five minutes away from the BBC? Is that a good flex? Man, I want to flex something in my life and I feel like that's the only thing I can flex on some of you. Look, Doc House is there as well. Yeah, I should stop now. <laughs> okay, I do a little key one on my camera with the gorilla pod here, but that would be a big risk, as you can see. Yeah, but the shot will look cool though. Look at this. All right, I found a nice little spot for myself here. Yeah, nice and quiet. And you get a good view as well. You know what, I should stop messing about now because I want to capture a time lapse of sun going down because the sky is clear, so might as well. So yeah, uh, as I was saying earlier, the reason I hate Salford Keys is just because whenever there's a new Mancunian photographer, the first thing that comes in their mind is Salford Keys. This place has been shot down so many times by every single photographer that lives in Manchester or even Liverpool, for goodness sake. They come here, take photos. So right now I feel like there's not much left to squeeze out of Salford Keys. So that's why I hate this place. But for walking about, for running about, it's actually a really cool place. You know, as you can see, fresh air. You get a nice water flowing as well. Can't really complain. All right, enough mucking about because I want to capture sunset today before it's a bit late. Yeah, let's start with the fourth, fourth? Yeah, with the fourth tip or secret. So at number four, I would like you to be mindful of what you're posting. So what I basically mean, before I actually started to learn about being consistent and that, I just dumped every single photo that I took on my Instagram, and it kind of looks like I'm an amateur beginner photographer. In fact, when I actually got someone's opinion about should I charge clients, should I do that, and they replied me saying, you shouldn't because by looking at your work, it looks like you're a beginner. And it was just only because I posted every single photo that I took uh, that made me look like I'm the beginner, I don't know anything. You see, Instagram is a place where a client can actually see your work or fellow photographer who wanna collab with you. They'll see your work from Instagram or your website. So make sure you upload your best work and a consistent style of work so that you look like more of a high-end photographer rather than someone with a camera. So yeah, be mindful of what you're posting otherwise you're gonna look like a pure amateur. And on number five, uh, transitioning. I know people can get bored of using the same style. I myself being there, uh, as you, if you probably scroll my uh, Instagram profile, you're probably gonna end up seeing different style of photography. Now, yes, I'm guilty of doing that by myself. Like I don't transition my different style, but that is something I'm gonna start doing soon. But what I mean basically, don't just start uploading different type of photo or different color photo randomly out of the blue, because that just looks, again, 
super amateur. So the right way to transition basically to a different style is by working from the same preset and modifying their settings slowly and slowly so that on the grid it's nice and slowly. The, the, the transition is basically nice and slowly, that's what I'm trying to say. I can't speak English, I know. And how do you do that? Well, basically, in my opinion, it takes about six or 12 photos to create a nice transition. So basically, start your modification with one photo and then increase the modification on the second one and so on and so on until you reach to your happy point, probably about on the 12 photo. And also some people like to have two or three different styles of edit. Basically, you can do that, yes, it will actually look nice, but make sure you consistently use those two or three different style uh, so that when, they, when they're going through your profile, you know, it's all the colors nightly and neat nightly neatly presented on your feed man i can't talk today all right i'm off shooting uh, the time lapse now because the sun is literally about to go down i feel like i'm already late but we'll see Okay, so the initial plan was to get a sunset, but however, I'm not gonna make it to the spot. I've decided to do it here. This is like a clear uh, view of the sun down there. So I'm gonna capture it from here now. Change of plan, just because I couldn't make it. So this is the time lapse that I went with instead because again, sun is completely down. And we're also gonna see how many people actually break the rule, cycle it, dismount, so they better do. We're gonna capture them in this timeline. Timeline, time lapse. God, I can't speak today. Bruh, as if someone actually threw away their door in Salford Keys. And what's this? It's not like a dishwasher door as well. Welcome to Manchester, hey? Welcome to Manchester. Meanwhile, the time lapse being done, uh, I thought might as well just do the outro here. So, if you enjoyed this video, found it useful, maybe consider leaving a like. And if you want to support me as a creator, go down and subscribe. With that all I said done, here's the result of this timeline. Goodbye.